Five misconceptions about God, Allah. Number five, moon god. Critics of Islam have made claims that Allah is a moon god, but these weak claims are based on false information and lies. For example, Robert Morey argues that the pre-Islamic pagans of Arabia worshipped a moon god called Allah. The reality, however, is that there was a pagan moon god but his name was Sin, not Allah. Moon worship was certainly not unheard of in Arabia, something we can safely say Quran itself condemns worship of the moon. Allah says in the Quran, And from among his signs are the night and the day and the sun and the moon. Do not bow down prostrate to the sun nor to the moon, but only bow down prostrate to Allah, who created them, if you really worship him. Quran chapter 41 verse 37 Number 4. Children of God Many people today unfortunately still hold the belief that Jesus was the Son of God. Some go further to say that Jesus was God. These are man-made statements without proof or evidence. In fact, there is no scripture on earth in its original form that accepts or confirms any of these claims. Allah says in the Quran, But they have attributed to Allah partners, the jinn, while he was created them and have fabricated for him sons and daughters. Exalted is he and high above what they describe. Quran chapter 6 verse 100 Number 3. Does God have a gender? The word he is used when referring to Allah only out of respect, dignity, and high status. It is not correct to associate the word he with gender, as this would be comparing Allah to the creation, something totally against the teachings of Islam. Allah is beyond what our minds can comprehend, and the concept of gender does not in any way apply to Allah. Number 2. God of Muslims only? Allah is not only the God of Muslims, ones who have submitted to him, but he is indeed the God of everything that exists. Whether you accept this reality or not, it is the truth and one day you will all come to realize and accept this. Allah is the creator of all things and he is, over all things, disposer of affairs. Quran chapter 39 verse 62 Number 1. Where is God? One of the biggest misconceptions today amongst Muslims and non-Muslims is the question of where is Allah? Some religions teach that God is everywhere. This is actually called pantheism and it is the opposite of our belief system in Islam. Allah tells us clearly that there is nothing anywhere in the universe like him or similar to his likeness nor is he ever in his creation. He tells us in the Quran he created the universe in six yom, periods of time, and then he rose up above his throne and he is there above his throne and will remain there until the end of times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has such complete knowledge as to be able to know all things past, present and future in all places at exactly the same time. The same can be said for his absolute hearing and seeing. In this way, his knowledge, his hearing, his sight is everywhere simultaneously. The Quran describes the highness of Allah in different ways by describing how things come down from him and go up to him and by stating that he is indeed above heaven.